Hello, dreamers. Hello once again to Alamo School Online Classes. So we welcome to a new adventure. So today lesson, we will talk about our practice listening skill. All right? Okay, so you need to prepare your English materials. Don't forget it. If you want to shine like a star, you have to get your dreams out. So, at the beginning of the class, you need to get sure that you have your student book, your pencil case, your highlighters, and so on, etc. So, open your student book on page 50, okay? So, some recommendations that I have to give you at the beginning of this class, okay? So, you guys, the first one is, don't forget to wash your hands anytime, you guys, at least 20 seconds. You have to stay at home, okay? If you need to go out, you have to use your mask, okay? So stay at home, you guys. Okay, dreamers, so my question today is, do you believe that your dreams can come true? So I, I said, yes, I believe in that, okay? I believe in it. So today's daily phrase is, uh-huh. You guys, practice makes perfect. So, let's practice. <laughs> okay, you guys, so what I want you to do is you have to go on your student book and open your student book on page 50, okay? So, today we need to talk about uh, about jobs, okay? So, this is the first part about job, okay? So, here we have a dream job and you are a dreamer and I am too. So, what I want you to do is you have to read... We have to read together this block and this kill text, and it says, understanding specific information. It's often important to understand the specific information and specific words. Read the questions carefully and identify what kind of information you need. Think about the possible words you may hear. Important words that are usually stressed in a sentence, like my friend, who's a chef, was light off, so she start her own business, making wedding cakes. Can you hear the some stress on that kind of words? Try not to confuse a similar sounding. Soundings like these words, his implied. His own implied. She's 14 and she's 40. Now keep in your mind because now it's time to practice in this exercise that we are going to have in the next exercise okay but before to work in it i want you to pay attention please about um, listening skills but before to do this i want you to pay attention and watch and listen in the following um, video and then we have to complete this exercise all right you guys so here you have Welcome once again to Learning Curve. I'm Simon here in the UK, and with me is Penny in our US studio. Today it's all about jobs. Are you one of the lucky people who loves their work? Yes, I love my work. Actually, uh, Penny, I was talking to our audience. It's that kind of question. Oh, sorry, it's just that I get so excited about what I do. You mean, working with me, of course. Ah, uh, sure, right. And being a presenter for Learning Curve is quite rewarding. And believe me, I've had jobs that weren't rewarding at all. And you used to be a sales assistant, didn't you? Yes, but that job was so stressful, I don't even want to talk about it. Well, we have a lot to cover anyway. I mean... The working conditions were just awful. I... Penny? Sorry. Carry on. Well, it isn't easy to find your dream job. One study found that only 30% of people who were born between the 1950s and the 1980s are happy in their work. Like me and Penny. We love our jobs. Even if they are well paid, they still feel unhappy. These days, working conditions are different than they once were. For some people, permanent jobs are not the answer. 
Over the last few years, more and more people have moved from temporary job to temporary job. In fact, in the US, the third largest job creator is a temporary agency. A temp agency is a company that hires people for short periods of time to fill in at other companies. So, if someone resigns, gets fired or retires, someone called a temp can fill in. We aren't temporary, are we? I certainly hope not. Okay, you guys. So, you guys, now it's time to practice a little bit about this uh, video. They talk about the, the important uh, that we have, if we have a, a job, that in which one we feel so good and we feel happy, so we are going to love what we do. So, in this block, we need to practice about exercise number four. So, before to work on this exercise, um, you have to take a look. Penny talk about the current job, and later she talk about, later on, she talk about previews. After that, she talk about the job that produces satisfactions, okay, and about the temporary job agency. So, did you remember what they said about it? Okay, if you are ready, we need to start, okay? So she said at the beginning, she said that she loved, okay, she loved what she do, what she does, I'm sorry. So that means she loved what she did in the past and nowadays, okay? So she really enjoyed her job. Now, in the second one, what uh, what she talked about, about the previous job. So she said, this one, I'm going to pick this one because she said this about wearing regarding and used to. Uh, I think she hate about the last job because it was stressful. And also she mentioned about awful conditions. It, so that means she didn't feel good in it, okay? Now she said about the job that produced satisfaction and she used and she talked about one okay so about the study about the statistic they say the statistics said are uh, regarding or the study found that 30 percent in 90 in 1980s they say the happy producent uh, good job produce happiness okay so let's continue with the last one it says temporary job agency that means in the usa yeah so here you have the answers. Third largest job, temporary agency companies, sharp period. Sharp periods means um, they got a good part time and they feel good in it. And hiring people about that, okay? So you guys, these are the answers. Check your answer and take your notes, please. Okay, you guys, now let's continue. We need to talk about or we need to work in the next exercise. So let's do it. Okay, now it's time to work on exercise number five. You need to listen once again the same area and then we have to complete this work. Or I'm going to be a pair and we can uh, complete this sentence by doing together, okay? So listen the audio and complete this sentence. Watch or listen again and write the word that is in the blank. And then here you got the space in blank and here I got the words, the answers to complete this uh, prompt, okay? So let's do it, listen the audio. Welcome once again to Learning Curve. I'm Simon here in the UK, and with me is Penny in our US studio. Today it's all about jobs. Are you one of the lucky people who loves their work? Yes, I love my work. Actually, uh, Penny, I was talking to our audience. It's that kind of question. Oh, uh, sorry. It's just that I get so excited about what I do. You mean working with me, of course. Uh, sure. Right. And being a presenter for Learning Curve is quite rewarding. And believe me, I've had jobs that weren't rewarding at all. And... You used to be a sales assistant, didn't you? Yes, but that job was so stressful, I don't even want to talk about it. Well, we have a lot to cover anyway. I mean, the working conditions were just awful. I... Penny? Sorry. Carry on. Well, it isn't easy to find your dream job. 
one study found that only 30% of people who were born between the 1950s and the 1980s are happy in their work. Like me and Penny, we love our jobs. Even if they are well paid, they still feel unhappy. These days, working conditions are different than they once were. For some people, permanent jobs are not the answer. Over the last few years, more and more people have moved from temporary job to temporary job. In fact, in the US, the third largest job creator is a temporary agency. A temp agency is a company that hires people for short periods of time to fill in at other companies. So, if someone resigns, gets fired or retires, someone called a temp can fill in. We aren't temporary, are we? I certainly hope not. Okay, you guys, so congratulations. So, check your answers and take your note. Remember that this is going to be your homework. You have to repeat it five times each word, and you have to copy this exercise on your vocabulary notebook, and you have to take a photo, and you have to send me, okay? Uh, you can send by email or by platforms to Miss Chrisley and I, and don't forget it, you guys, stay at home. And I'll see you, I'll see you in the next video.